Okay, we'll just upgrade these. That way we're just building this stuff once. Hopefully I won't have to build additional conveyor belts because I really don't want to. But now that we have MK5s here, everything will go so much faster. Looks like circuit boards need additional production. Like, I can always overclock it if I need more. There we go. And here's our copper ingots. You know, let's just upgrade this fully. these first. Well, actually, I think we don't need to upgrade the belts. Uh, the inputs, I should say. These are MK3s. Like, this can handle the load. So, we just won't worry about that. Yeah. I will get rid of this steel. I'm gonna keep the encased industrial beams just in case. But we will continue upgrading these. I'm gonna continue upgrading until we get to our uh, copper sheets and steel stuff. So I'm pretty sure this line has to be extended over here. Okay, these need to be... Okay, it's upgrades continue over here. Keep on connecting these. Okay, here's our circuit board production area. Now, since there's not a whole lot of room in this area, I'm thinking of maybe overclocking them later on. Just so we can get more production out of that if we need it. Okay, let's get up here. Upgrade these belts. Great. Which ones are these, anyway? Okay, these are MK3s still. You know what, I'm just gonna upgrade them. Are you serious? This was not connected the entire time, oh my god. 
What the hell? What in the hell? Damn game. Well, let's just upgrade this now. I said before that the inputs don't really matter, but here I am upgrading the inputs. So that begs the question, what the hell is wrong with me? Oh well, I'm already doing it, might as well just do all of it now. Especially these things. Oh, but I'm almost out of sheets. So, there's that. I get the feeling I should probably save some. Oh, no. Nah. I can just continue building with the MK4s. And then upgrade them again later on. Anyway, oh come on, I didn't clear this area. Come here you There so we still have these crystals over here and we're gonna build like eight constructors in this direction Let's clear this out first Let's get rid of this tree. I'm just clearing out all of this vegetation. Oh, damn you autosave. Messing me up. So we'll just fill this in. Alright, so we need eight constructors. It takes the same amount of materials to make, right? Well, let's put down the constructors. We're gonna put them down. Right here. We'll just line them up side by side with the silica production. Have lots of silica being produced anyway, so actually we got this turned around. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. All right, so let's see here. Quartz crystal, silica. This actually takes more resources. 37.5 per minute. 37, 75, 150, 225. So this can only support six of them. But you know what, we'll make eight anyway. Just because. 
I'm gonna put down the power poles first because that's what I should have been doing this entire time because it makes things so much easier. Wait, was this load balanced over here? No, it wasn't. So what I need to do is put splitter here. Put splitter here. And then merger here. And a merger here. Because I'm pretty sure the quartz over here is completely saturated. So, all of the excess will then go to this other line for the quartz crystals. Anyway, where was I? Did I finish powering this up? No, I didn't. All right, so you are all powered up. Quartz crystals. So it should balance out roughly. Like all of the excess from the silica production will go into the quartz crystals. So all we need to do now is put down splitters. Then connect all of these together. Once I run out of aluminum sheets, I'll just switch to encased industrial beams. Still need to come back and upgrade all of these things. here actually let's do this put a lift here and have this completely not aligned ah oh, damn it There we go. Now it's producing quartz crystals. We did upgrade these, right? Okay, yes we did. Yes we did. And let's confirm how much is produced. 240. Okay. Let's grab these nuts that are floating in midair. Yeah, so it's taken from both of these mining machines. And then the silica production is still getting the resources it needs. But now both of these machines are feeding this area over here. And all is right in the world. Ok, 
Okay, so now we need to put down the mergers. Four, five, six, seven. Wait, I counted seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I miss one? I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. This is now connected up, and I am out, completely out, of, well, not completely out, but completely out of aluminum sheets. Probably should take some quartz crystals with me. Because we do need a lot of them. And it goes in stacks of a hundred. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll put the production area around here. Can't really chop this area down. I do want to get rid of these rocks. So let's just set up this area for construction. Oh, there's more rocks over here. I really don't need this ore. So we'll get rid of it. Okay, we're going to have to come back later unless well, I guess we can put down some of these foundations right now. Yeah, might as well try to burn some of this concrete. I do want to get rid of those rocks there. Wait, what the hell? That can't be right. Kind of hard to build in this section, but I do want to get under 1500 concrete. Just to clear out that stack. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think we can head back now. So, all of that is going... So we don't have, like, a hypertube entrance in this area over here. I can't believe that I didn't connect that. That was stupid. I'll just get rid of these rocks as well, just because. There are so many rocks here. Damn. And this one just appeared out of nowhere. Same with this thing over here, and I damaged myself because I'm stupid. Yeah, you're just appearing out of thin air. I know it's some kind of optimization, but still, come on. Well, 
the very least, we have our MK5s on this line ready to go. So I need a place to put these encased industrial beams. Maybe I can put like a temporary storage or something. Or oh, wait, we should have some room in our uh, storage there, in our industrial storage. Because we don't have that much production anyway, so there should be room for all of this. Now the steel beams on the other hand, maybe not. We're gonna have to put that somewhere else. And we do have quartz crystals now, so we can get that research going. Probably should check out the awesome shop as well. Let's get some tickets first. Oh, damn it. Missed that. I have 34 tickets. All right, let's go shopping. Maybe we can get one of these advanced parts. Because if we can get this up and running, or the radio control units, like, immediately, then we should be able to, I guess, get this milestone, move on to the next one. Okay, what was I doing here again? Okay, quartz crystals. Okay, we got the rifle, so quartz research, we can... Hey guys, we can research this now. Now we can build crystal oscillators. Nice. And I guess we need to get five of these. Can we build them right now? Crystal oscillators, no. So, okay, let's just store them in here. Where's my... Oh, take... Took all 100 of them. Alright. So, anyway. We need to get rid of these encased industrial beams. And that's in this hyper tube over here. Okay, so that is missing resources, clearly. Probably should check what they are. It's quick wire and something else, I think. Okay, this is a storage. Yeah, so there's room in here. So let's just put all of this in here. And then we still have plenty of space for something else. Or, no, not plenty of space. It's completely full. We need to make space. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so let's store all of this in here. Store all of this in here. Keep a couple of stacks for ourselves. And then we need to go back and... Actually... We need to get rid of these things. These organs. And what else do I need to get rid of? Oh, I do need another stack of reinforced iron plates just in case. I don't even know why I'm keeping them. Oh, probably should do something with the tickets first, because that's another inventory slot that I don't want taken up. Okay, so parts. Do you have complex parts? Industrial turbo motors. You know, we can get the crystal oscillators now. Just one. Petroleum coke. Uh, no, let's not do that. Okay, turbo motors. Let's get, like, one stack of them. I don't want to, like, build too many, uh, buy too many stacks of them. Because we're going to automate them anyway, and I want to keep my tickets for other things. Uh, what else do we need?
I think that's it. Circuit boards, batteries. You know what? Let's get the batteries. And I think that's it. So we can buy filters if I really wanted to, but I don't want to. That's the thing. Okay, I think, yeah, let's get all of these first. Like, they are expensive in terms of tickets. And then we're gonna store these resources over here. Like, we don't, we can't buy the radio control units, unfortunately. So, I'll just put them, wait, where, what, where are they? I thought they appeared in my inventory. Am I losing it? What? What is going on? Or... I'm confused. Like, I thought... Where's my tickets? Oh, there they are. Weird. But where did all my tickets go? I had 36, didn't I? You know, I'm confused. Like... Okay, I am so losing it. Or did I just spend all my tickets on everything? I thought it was like 17 tickets or something. Okay, well anyway. Crystal Oscillator. Yeah, there we go. Let's research that. And what is this? The Explorer. Oh, is this a car? Hmm. Frequency mapping. Frequency... Oh, the map! 